My name is Terrell Peterson and I tragically lost my life due to child abuse in 1998. This is the background to my story. I was also known as Terrell Peterson Lewis and was a three-year-old boy from Brooklyn, New York. I was in the care of my mother, who had a history of drug abuse and had previously lost custody of her other children. My mom and her boyfriend, while under the influence of drugs, subjected me to severe physical abuse. My case gained significant media attention and shed light on the issue of child abuse. My death sparked calls for increased awareness, prevention, and intervention regarding child abuse cases. It has served as a reminder of the importance of reporting suspicions of abuse and providing support to vulnerable children. When I died, unfortunately I weighed only 29 pounds and was covered with cuts, bruises, and cigarette burns. It was alleged that various individuals within the Georgia Department of Family and Children's Services engaged in gross misconduct and violation of state-mandated protocols for handling child abuse cases. After the murder, officials within the department engaged in a willful cover-up of the facts in the case. My case was considered to have been one of the worst cases of child abuse in history. It is deeply disturbing that despite numerous calls reporting neglect and abuse, the department failed to take adequate action until June 1996 when they finally took custody of me from my mother. I was placed in the care of Farina Peterson, my half-brother grandmother, who was also problematic as agency caseworkers had little to no contact with him and monthly visits were not conducted as required by protocol. This lack of oversight allowed the abuse and mistreatment to continue unchecked. The tragic case came to light when I was brought to the hospital on cardiac arrest, where I passed away. The investigation revealed that I had been physically restrained with pantyhose tied to a banister in the apartment. A set of written instructions for my care, allegedly given by Farina detailed his restrictive and neglectful treatment. It is deeply tragic that despite the visible signs of abuse, such as me rummaging for food in school and the severe burns on my feet, no investigation or intervention took place. My cause of death was listed as blunt impact injuries to the head, trunk, and extremities. Fran Farina, the caregiver, was charged with capital murder in connection with my death. As I mentioned previously, internal investigations conducted by the department revealed various failures and violations, including a failure to make contacts, conduct mandatory monthly meetings, and a serious lack of judgment. However, these findings were not made public, and department officials engaged in a cover-up. Due to state privacy laws, my records were sealed, making them inaccessible to the media and concealing the tampering and cover-up. However, one year later, Terrell's case file was anonymously provided to attorney Don Keenan, revealing the misconduct within the department. Despite the murder of Terrell and the complicity of department workers in his death through willful neglect, and the exposed cover-up by high-ranking officials, no disciplinary action was taken against the officials. These details further underscore the critical failures within the Georgia Department of Family and Children's Services in handling Terrell's case and the subsequent attempts to conceal the truth. The case highlights the importance of transparency, accountability, and the urgent need for reform in child protective services to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. Farina Peterson, who was my caregiver, received a life sentence. Terry Lynn Peterson, my aunt, was found guilty of murder and also received a life imprisonment sentence. These outcomes shed light on the legal consequences faced by some individuals involved in Terrell Peterson's case, including those responsible for his murder and the cover-up. It is important to acknowledge that the case had a significant impact on policies and legislation, such as the Terrell Peterson Act aimed at improving child protection measures. Thank you for listening to my story. Please, if you see something, please say something.